I've always wondered, why is every surface dwarf a merchant or a smith? You left out criminals and hired muscle. They don't count. We dwarves are drawn to shiny objects. Sort of like magpies, but with business sense. You're kidding. Of course I am. We come to the surface with the skills our ancestors had, Blondie. You think there's a tradition of dwarf woodcutters in Orzammar? Beekeepers? Sailors? Well, there could be mushroom growers and nug wranglers. Orzammar will never let those people go topside. Too vital. Also, embarrassing. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh. I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. I can't imagine why she might run away. <sighs> yes, yes, my wife and I don't get along. But that's not the important thing. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well... I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's a wrong doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Nanette keeps the company of other men. Huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. Hmm? It wasn't always like this. We were in love. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes. I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear, on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, sir. Welcome, merchant. Well, good luck to you then. Business appears to be good. Mind you, I imagine demand is fairly constant. Get outside, you lazy thing. You'll ruin my business. You ever gonna stop harping on the mages here? No. They aren't what you saw in Tavinta. The moment they are free, mages will make themselves magisters. They're slaves. You should want to help them. I don't.
Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Jathan, have you seen Nanette lately? Nanette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Do you think Ninette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Ninette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Ninette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Ninette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Perhaps Emmerich knows something we don't. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. He didn't really ask you to wear a feather boa. I saw a spore once. It looked like uncle. We don't want no Templars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sirrah, for coming along when you did. I am Emmerich. Just the person I was looking for. I need to speak with you about Nanette. Ah, Ghislaine de Carac's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. Did you learn nothing? Most people just say she left her husband. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. <laughs> I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed, drunk. What? I think the disappearances are connected, and I suspect foul play is involved. Doesn't the Circle use phylacteries to keep track of its mages? We followed her phylactery to a foundry, but found nothing. I had heard of sympathizers smuggling mages through Darktown, so came here hoping to pick up the trail. But no trace of Merin. And as you've seen, asking the locals hasn't made me very popular. Have you mentioned any of this to the city guard? They say there's no proof the disappearances are connected. They think the women just left home, that it happens all the time. 
People don't just disappear. Perhaps they were murdered or kidnapped. We found no bodies, no ransom notes. Those women just vanished. Mages routinely flee the circle. Perhaps Marin just wanted freedom. She had always been loyal. She received lilies from an unknown suitor, and some of us thought she may have gone to meet him. Perhaps her disappearance is linked. Can I assist your investigation? It's no longer my investigation, Sirrah. You may take over if you wish. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. A foundry in Lotan. I should look into that. So, a human, an elf, and a dwarf walk into a bar. The human says, You're lucky you're so short. That hurt like mad. You could have just stopped me, Blondie. Why waste a perfectly good setup? All nights aren't safe. Always some group of thugs around. Someone will usually pay for their removal.
summoned by another mage, no doubt. or lesion. A severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Ghislaine. It might belong to Ninette. Thugs are plaguing the streets. I don't see a problem in giving them the fight they want. job in there. In fact, get rid of any other groups like that, and I'll be at the Hanged Man with some toys as reward. Courtesy of some interested friends. Well, how about that? Still lacking the funds for Bartran's little venture, I assume? My offer stands, you know. If Bartran doesn't want your help, neither do I. Think you can come up with a coin all on your own, eh? Fair enough. Hawk will find a way. 
Really? From what I can tell, it seems your friend enjoys spending coin more than saving it. You change your mind? Come talk to me. I doubt this expedition is going anywhere in the meantime. You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. This worth dying for. <laughs> I didn't think so. You're new around here, aren't you? Welcome and keep your wits about you. You're nothing but tits and arse to the men in this place, and they won't hesitate to grab at both. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. I even met the hero of Ferelden, if you know what I mean. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. 